Hey everyone, this is All Things Tech, and in this video I have hooked my new GoPro 6 up to my dog harness, and as you can see, we're going to be doing an ultimate image stabilization test. Watch this, folks. So guys, this is a bit of fun, but it is to show the great stabilization which is inbuilt in the latest GoPro 6. Now, I know I, it had it in the GoPro 5, but it is meant to be a little bit better. And from what I've seen so far, I think it is a bit better as well. Now, this obviously is recording in 4K, and this is the ultimate test because there is nothing as manic as a spring of spaniel running through a park and chasing a ball. And what you'll see in a second, guys, when she runs after the ball, it's very, very, um, you know, lots of movement. And I've tried to slow it down, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, Mac software has got an issue with Final Cut Pro at the moment that the latest HEVC 2.65 codec is not compatible with Final Cut Pro. So the slow motion scenes that you're getting here are not true 240. So I'm going to have to cover that 240 frames per second. So I'm not going to I'm going to have to cover that in another video at a later date, guys. But I wanted just to show you that the image quality for one, and also when the, we are seeing quite a lot of movement, it is surprising how stable it is when it's literally up and down and side to side so very very quickly so the shots that you've seen at the moment have all got image stabilization turned on the next cut to the woods I'm going to go to now is going to be image stabilization off and I think you can see that it makes a real difference and it's very very unstable and very shaky and almost not watchable in fact this compares very much similar to the GoPro Hero Silver that I had Hero 4 and that really was terrible when I did exactly the same experiments as this but with the GoPro 6 and the 4k and the image stabilization it does make a big difference now we're going to be doing some other videos coming up soon guys so make sure that you hit the red button and subscribe we're going to be looking at this compared to the um, when we hook it up to our DJI Osmo mobile because I've bought an attachment so that the GoPro can go into the mobile because I think that that's going to be great and we're going to compare that to iPhone footage and also I've got a DJI Osmo with the built-in camera and we'll do a comparison against that as well but this, this obviously at the moment is literally just the GoPro attached directly to the harness now one of my choices which I've discounted was the GoPro Karma that is the standalone grip which you can attach your GoPro to and get image stabilization from that now the reason for that is one it's more expensive than the DJI Osmo and I think it's just more limiting if you have the Osmo mobile with your grip you can get a very very cheap cost-effective um, attachment which I'll show you in my next video and that will be able to then hold not only your GoPro but you can just use the standard mount and put your phone in there as well so you really do have the best of both worlds but what we'll do is we'll do a comparison and we'll see whether that alone is going to be good enough with the GoPro in it and see whether the footage that you get is going to be adequate but I think that that's the way forward it's less money than the Karma and it's giving you a little bit more flexibility but you know let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box guys because I think that the general footage here is pretty good I am excited and I do apologize that I've not been able to give you the full proper edit with the slow motion 200 140 frames a second at 1080p and 120 frames a second in 4k because it would be great to have seen that in its best light but i'll do that in the next one as soon as the final cut pro sort their codecs out but thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one